Hello everyone, in today's video I want to do a full face makeup with the brand Dior. Specifically, I want to highlight one of their new quints that they came out for the fall collection. I picked up Mirror Mirror and I am really excited to share that with you. And I also picked up a few new items for me. So, let's get started. My face is um, clean, I have nothing on, I just put on, put on just a little bit of the Pat McGrath Lab Divine Skin Rose Essence. I know it's not Dior, but it's full face makeup <laughs> um, of the brand Dior. And I wanted to have a little bit of moisture on my face because we did go to the beach last week. I got some sun and my face was a little bit dry, so I needed some moisture. I picked up the new, or at least new for me, the Dior Forever Natural Velvet Compact Foundation in the shade Cool Rosy 1CR. Color might be... A little bit off because again I went to the beach and it might be a little bit too white but that's okay because I'm yeah I'm gonna I am gonna use bronzer and everything else I do want to try it with the applicator and let's see what happens the rest of the items that I picked up I will show you shortly so let me swipe some of it in the back of my hand it's really white like my color of my skin I don't think it's gonna be full coverage it says it's full coverage I don't know it doesn't say that it says compact foundation and it is refillable I was looking at it and it looked kind of I don't know how that would happen I don't want to break it but I'm guessing is through here and this is replaceable which is great you could use the packaging and just have to replace a compact that's great so let's start I'm gonna start on this side I always start on the left side and I want to see how it works with my pores because I do have accentuated pores in this area. I want to see how it works in that area specifically. I know I was just thinking that if I have a dry skin, what am I doing using a compact foundation? Uh, but I do want to try it. That's what I do. I like to do. That's what I do for my channel and for you guys. I like to try on new things. And I was curious about this product. The color so far seems to be working. It's a very light coverage which is gray. That's the, the way I like it. And it doesn't seem to be drying me. It feels very soft. I'm not going to do my eyes yet. My eye area because I do want to apply concealer. And I want to do the concealer and then I'll put the powder on the top. Or set it set it with the same foundation. It seems to be working fine around my nose. Where, it's where, where I usually am extra dry. I get some for my neck area. I think it's like a good product for to carry on your purse to retouch and all that because it's not liquid it's not gonna spill on your inside your purse but I do prefer something more glowy so it is pretty matte and not glowy at all okay so now I'm gonna go with concealer I am gonna use a Dior Forever Skin Correct my favorite concealer of all time and I do have dark circles today so I need something that's full coverage I'm gonna use my BK Beauty a506 I think it is yeah a506 so there you go I love this concealer because it gives me the coverage that I need for my dark circles and again uh, going back to the foundation I do prefer a more glowy skin more glowy foundation but this is not bad and it doesn't doesn't dry or anything like that so so far so good would I use it a lot probably not but I do, I do like it. I do like this powder foundation. All right, so next we're gonna go in with the eyes, which is, I think it's the highlight of this video. At least that's my favorite. It is the Five Couleur, Five Couleur Couture Eyeshadow Palette 659 Mirror Mirror. It is limited edition, but as the time of this video, because this just, this came out recently, it is still, still available. And this is the beauty, this beauty. Look how gorgeous it is. They did come out with two of them. I only picked up this one. Because I think the colors will be more of my liking. Perfect for fall. I'm going to do a swatch in the back of my hand, of course. And I'm kind of like sad because I know once I start, you know, swatching and all that, the lettering is going to disappear. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with this color and then do clockwise. Okay, I did put the middle one over here because I was running out of out of hand space so starting from this is the color in the middle and then these are the shades in the clockwise order so let me put this up so you guys see what I'm talking about and this little the first one on your right is the one in the middle and then we're gonna go with that orange on the left top corner 
then that champagne beautiful color the brown matte and that olive military green which is gorgeous my experience with the Dior eyeshadows have always been great I haven't found one that I don't like well except one <laughs> the Quince I've had a fabulous history with all the ones that I tried but there was one spring 2020 I think it was those were really bad um, I did not like them but all the other all the other eyeshadows I tried I've loved and I I know I'm gonna love these two love the colors love the way they look I am gonna start with a matte because I like to start my crease with a matte but it's a dark brown so I'm gonna go very light I'm gonna start with a BK Beauty A503 brush which is a fluffy brush I already picked up some so just swirl it once and if there's any fallout but there isn't and I'm gonna start in the crease area just setting up the base pick up a little bit more so I'm gonna pick up the Sony G worker one and I'm gonna go in with this orangey one right here and I'll do the inner half of my eye lid Then with my finger, I'm gonna pick up some of that green. I think, let me see how it looks in the middle of the eyelid. Oh yeah. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit to bring in those two colors together here in the middle. Go back with my Sony G Worker Pro, pick up some more of that orange. That is so pretty. I'm going to go back with my BK Beauty fluffy brush. Go back with that matte. I like how everything is mixing together. I'm going to look for another clean fluffy brush and kind of like clean here, this area here, the transition. I'm going to use this from Units. And just, I, what I want to do is clean a little bit here, the edges and make everything look smooth just like that just like that's beautiful I'm gonna go now with a Sony G pencil one I'm gonna go in in the middle with this brown right here I'm gonna use all the five colors today and I'm gonna use this for the waterline With a tiny brush from Refer, Refer number 26. I'm gonna pick up some of that champagne color and apply it here. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the other eye, come back to work on a new mascara that I got from Dior. I did expect or thought that the shade in the middle was going to be a little bit more brown but it's a little bit more on the orangey copper side which is fine it's perfectly fine but i thought it was going to be a little bit more brown next i want to try the a new mascara by dior it's a dior show pump and volume this is what the packaging looks like it's a black uh, matte packaging and it does have the encryption here of the brand Plus the name of the mascara. I haven't opened it yet, so let's see what it looks like. Okay. It's like a regular size, a regular mascara. Um, wand, nothing too extraordinary about it, but let's see how it applies on the eyes. Hmm. Oh my God, really pretty. 
it gives me volume it dresses like every lash and it's not clumping which is great i'm gonna be using it for a few hours actually after this i'm not going anywhere i'm actually gonna cook <laughs> i'm starting to organize like do some meal planning so i'm gonna do some of the cooking today so i don't have to do it in the weekday so i'm gonna be in the kitchen sweating and stuff or cooking i'm gonna let you know in the in the pinned comment if the mascara was still good after five or six hours of wear in the kitchen <laughs> but so far i like it and it's not a wet formula like it dries up pretty fast there you go really pretty i also ordered a new brow gel from dior it's a dior show onset brow the mascara the longwear brow gel i got the shade uh, dark brown i'm gonna give it a try i don't do a lot of things in my eyebrows but sometimes i do like to fill in this area specifically because there's i need some filling in <laughs> i think the the shade is pretty close it's really close it's exact actually to my my hairs but so that's good it's like a really light formula mm, it's good i like it it does what it needs to do so next i pick up picked up a new lipstick it's in the shade 550 dusty coral in satin my favorite lipstick formula from dior is satin and this is the shade it's like a red orange it's more like an orange let me swipe it or swatch it i should say in the back of my hand i love dior lipsticks love them it's like um well, like the name says, it's like a dusty coral. It's not really red. It's like coral and it has some some brown in it and some pink. I like it. Let's try it on. Hmm, I love it. It feels so good. I realize that this shade is probably not the best for for the eyeshadow look, but it is a new lipstick that I wanted to try. It feels really good, really buttery, really moisturizing. The color is beautiful. Probably with this look, I will wear like a brown nude. And then this lipstick, I will wear with a more simpler eyeshadow look. But regardless, I wanted to show you guys the color. And it feels really good. I know that I haven't done my bronzer, blush, or highlight yet. So I'll do that right now. I haven't forgotten. I was just really excited to try this lipstick. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using the... All of a sudden, I feel like my voice is a little bit off. I don't know why. The Dior Forever Natural Bronze, Light Bronze. That's the shade that I'm going to... The one that I have is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to pick up my Soniji Niji Pro. Which is my favorite um, bronzer blush. Bronzer brush. Yes, I said it right. I did a video about my top favorite brushes. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'm going to put the link of that video at the end of this one. So you guys could check that out if you're interested to know what are my favorite brushes so this bronzer is really light so i'm just gonna swipe here a little bit on the cheek area i don't contour i just like to bronze up a little i am pretty pale and my face is not matching my body now because i went to the beach i got a little suntan but my face didn't get much sun <laughs> so i'm just gonna add a little bit of color to to my face here, my cheeks, and my neck area. I usually do this before I do lipstick, but it's nothing set on stone, so you could do it in whatever order you please. Again, this is a very light bronzer, so it's very hard for you to make a mistake. It's easy to build up on it. So there you go, it's just a little bit of color. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Sonia G Jumbo Base to apply the blush, and I'm gonna use today the this is the illuminizer it's really like a highlight highlighting blush in the shade coral glow pick up some of that with this brush and apply it here on the cheek area give me a little bit of color Today I'm going to be using the Refer brush number 20, which is like a fan brush. Just to try a little bit of a different brush today. I usually use the Wayne Goss the, from the Artist Collection, but I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to use today the 
the Luminizer in Shade Golden Glow. And apply it right here on where I usually apply highlight, of course, right here on upper cheek area. A little bit more because I feel like I want to be extra shiny today. Some here on my forehead. So this is my look. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. My thoughts, well, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight I've used many times before and I know that I like them, but I'm going to give my thoughts about the newer items. The powder, the compact foundation is nice. Um, as I said before, I do prefer a more glowy foundation, so I probably won't use this as much as other foundations that I have but it is nice it is good like I said to put it inside a purse and you won't be afraid that it's gonna spill or something like that and it's also good for touching up certain areas and my problem areas are my where I have accentuated pores right here they did not accentuate my pores they just look the same they did a pretty good job um, around my nose. It looks okay. And it didn't dry my skin. It just it has a, like, a really light coverage, which is what I prefer regardless. So the powder is, is nice. The quince, I love. I love the shades. They were easy to work with. I was expecting the this shade to be more brown, but it's still fine. It's perfectly fine. It's beautiful, beautiful quint. The mascara is beautiful as well. It worked really well. It um, really extended my lashes without making them look like falsies. Um, it looks really good. The lipstick shade is beautiful. It's like a pinky coral, a dusty coral, which is great. I think more for the summer, which we're still in summer. We still have a month, uh, a little more than a month. So it's a really pretty color. I probably use it with another eye look, but it's gorgeous regardless. And it feels really good. And what was the other thing? Oh, and the brow gel also worked perfect. I did what I had to do. So overall, I do like this look. What I would change is probably use another lip shade with this color. But everything else, I look, I think it looks perfectly fine. Now it's your turn. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this look. If you picked up any of these items, let me know. As always, I'm going to leave links down below in the description box of everything that I used today. So this is my video for today. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll see you next time. Bye.